This quick video shows how to use the touch screen in Lightning. As you can see here, uh, the screen is divided into three sections. There's a header at the top, there's a footer at the bottom, and in between there's a content area. In addition, if you press anywhere in this content area, you can call up the soft keys. The top row of soft keys overlays the header and contains categories. The bottom row of soft keys overlays the footers and contains actions for those categories. In other words, when you select a category up here like view, the actions you see down here in the bottom row of soft keys pertain to that view. Likewise, if you select menu, you'll see a different set of soft key actions and so on and so forth for the other categories. This is the transport category, this is the context category, and this is the more category where we'll add new features in the future. If we go back to the view, you can see that this is the default view for Lightning. This is the chord view where you can actually strum the notes in a chord and select a different chord type. The next view you can get to by pressing next in the actions for the view menu. This will move on to the notes menu, which is very similar to the chords menu, except that it allows you to play individual notes as opposed to the notes in a chord. These are notes in a scale. Moving on again to the next menu, you will see that there's a piano roll view or note roll, note view. And here we see the song view, which gives you all of the uh, the notes in the song over the duration of the song. The next view is the step view, where you can record in a quantized mode, uh, which is great for creating loops. And finally, we get to the sample view, where you can record your own uh, samples and assign them to uh, notes and play them just like the pre-recorded samples. We press next one more time. We get back to where we started from in the chords menu. Previous does the same thing, it's just in the reverse order. So if you go beyond where you're uh, intended, just hit previous to go back to the previous one. Or if you know it's closer in the previous direction, go that way. If we move on to the menu category, we see here uh, the file menu. This is the default menu. And this lets you do things like create a new song, open an existing song, save a song, uh, reload a song, rename a song, delete a song, and so on and so forth. There are 14 uh, menus in all, and I'll just go through them quickly by pressing Next Menu repeatedly. This is the Edit Menu. This is the Song Menu. This is the Channel Menu, Event Menu, Settings Menu, Profile Menu, Pattern Menu, Reverb Menu, ADSR Menu for the Global ADSR Envelope, the Playlist Menu, the Network Menu, the Articulation Menu, and the Sampler. Pressing one more time takes us right back to where we started. So the way this generally works is you select a view or a menu you're interested in. Let's say we want to open a new song and play it. We'll go to the menu category and then down here in the list of action soft keys, we'll, we'll select next item. As you can see here, this is moving down the selected menu item and we've just selected open song. And so if we click on this button over here, select, it will actually perform the action we have indicated. What we've done here now is get to a file navigator and uh, you can see that there are uh, files that you can get from three sources. Local is the flash storage on the device itself. SD card is if you uh, put an SD card in the device. USB is if you put a USB flash drive in the device. So we'll, what we'll do here is we'll go down and use next item to get to the local menu. Then we'll press select. And we're down in the first level of uh, folders in the local file system. There's a demo folder containing demo files. And if we uh, open that, we'll see here... Uh, Various artists who've contributed their songs to the public domain. There are approximately 56 songs in this in these folders. We'll go down here and pick this one called Long Way Home. And when we open it, we see that we go back to the piano roll view and we're positioned at the beginning of the song. If we next select the uh, transport category, we can interact with the song. We can rewind to the beginning of the song, which is where we are. We can fast forward to the end of the song. Uh, we can play the song, we could record into the song, or we could create a new song. So that's how you interact with the transport category of SoftKey uh, with these various actions, rewind, play, new song, record, and forward. Finally, let's go take a look at the context category. In context, you can do some things like moving to the previous octave or the next octave. Uh, you can also reload the profile or move to the previous or next channel. Finally, if you want to dismiss the soft keys, you can just press in the middle of the screen again and you'll go back to the default header and footer. So that's how soft keys work on the touch display on Lightning.